On the MidwestSports.net YouTube channel, welcome to the summit. Hi, I'm Joey McWilliams. I am pleased and privileged to get to be joined today by Dr. Rob Ramsire, who is the athletic director at Friends University in Wichita, Kansas. And Dr. Ramsire, thanks for being with me today. I want to talk about one of the big announcements from this week as Friends University is partnering with the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. And it looks like you guys have a lot going on right now and then for the future. Yeah, we. We're excited about it. It's something we started working on, uh, gosh, probably about this time last year. And um, our, our cross country coach, Jason Parr, has been very active in FCA and uh, connected us with some of the leaders for FCA in Kansas. And we we're looking at how do we, how can we create a program that's a win win where uh, they can help support our mission on campus, support our coaches, and we can also help them. Uh, work at their goals and, and their goal is as an organization FCA is to have an FCA coach in every community and what we came up with is really a two-part program one we'd help scholar provide partial scholarships to two kids a year to be FCA interns where they are trained to meet weekly with the FCA leader they're doing uh, work on campus um, and then their fourth year they go out into the schools and get kind of a practical experience being the FCA leader um, so this program eventually will have eight kids on campus that are that are FCA interns. So it helps them train people and then send them out in hopefully Kansas communities. And then Keith Towns is their FCA person and he's on campus about 20 hours a week. Uh, comes yeah. to comes to our staff meetings often is meeting with coaches and just it's a it's a wonderful presence to have as we're looking to really further our mission. You know, this looks like it, it's something that also not only has the backing of, of you and the university itself, but to do something like this, I mean, it's it's going to require some some donations, and it, it it seems as though the university and the donors are behind this as well, really making a push. It's 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 been pretty neat because um, we decided to make the leap without having the money in the bank. Uh, <laughs> and I had, had, had a fundraising party this summer where we raised more than we needed in a year. I mean, we... Um, raised three times what I was expecting that night and it was just uh, for people that, that care about kids love sports and love Jesus it's, it's something they want to have wanted to be involved in so uh, it's a national pilot with FCA so that is also something that's that's pretty neat we're on the front end of something that that we believe in um, so the newness and just just being creative I think also spurred some donations and some support we're speaking with Dr. Rob Ramsire right now, and signal-wise, uh, his picture's thrown up, uh, has has frozen up, but you can still hear the audio. So I wanted to go ahead with this, Dr. Ramsire, to do something like that too. I mean, having kids of of quality in in character and nature, uh, getting to work with the athletic program. I mean, it seems to be not you know a win-win all the way around because now your athletic department's getting some some good help as well. Yeah, I mean, it's bringing quality kids in. It brings quality leaders with the FCA people in. It's just, yeah, we've had two in the last year of this and then a partnership with the city on the baseball field where it's just felt like true win-wins. And those are sometimes hard to come by, so we feel pretty <laughs> fortunate to have some great partners. Uh, Dr. Ramsire, then, it is in the middle of crossover season in the athletic department in a number of ways. I know that baseball and softball are right around the corner. Of course, here we are in the middle of basketball season, but a couple of things that I wanted to mention with you really quickly are uh, other sports that uh, some universities have, some don't. One of them is powerlifting. That's a new program there at Friends, and you guys have already set some qualifying marks for nationals. Yeah, it's um, yeah, we said we're going to fix the nationals in year one, um, which is – exciting and very unexpected um, so that that group is led by a guy named joe Belden, who is a long time wichita area strength coach high school football coach and um he was connected to, to one of our alums is how we found him and he's just doing an exceptional job he jumped right in and really worked at it and we believe it's a growing sport we're actually down in your neck of the woods recruiting quite a bit we have several of the kids on the um in the program and um quality kids um, really males and females are interested in the sport there's just there's just so much to like about it it's, it's gone really well yeah, I, I was looking that up I want to make sure I had everything together on my end to be able to talk a little bit about it I'd seen some of the releases from Levi Converse your sports information director who by the way I think does a fantastic job I want to give my Levi shout out there but <laughs> as I look for it on the website it's a co-ed sport so it's it's not just limited you know to to men or women that want to be a part of this as well mm-hmm yeah, it's um, there's a lot of demand on it from both genders, and it's a 
it's a growing sport and a big sport really already in Oklahoma, Texas. It's growing in Kansas, and we're hoping we can we can help help it grow in Kansas and provide some support there to um, recruit in our state as well. But there's just not a lot of options right out there for kids to powerlift at the collegiate level. So just the the caliber of kid and the caliber of lifter we've been able to bring in so far is pretty exciting. One more question then, as you all have another event taking place tonight, and it's a day of duels. It is cheerleading competition as well. It's that time of year, and I know the NAI cheer and dance competitions, the national level, just a couple of months away. This is the first opportunity for a number of programs uh, in Kansas, in Oklahoma, and beyond have an opportunity to compete, and they'll be doing it there in Wichita on your campus tonight. Yeah, we'll be doing it, and it's it's a first for us to host this type of event. Um, and really, I should get zero credit for it. Our, our cheer coach, uh, Jill, has, has helped organize it. Her and her assistant AD have been playing the last couple of weeks. And she came up with the idea in the fall of competitive cheer needs to get a certain number of competitions. And everybody's always looking to who to host, um, scoring, all that kind of stuff. And um, Jill said, you know what, let's, let's, let's be part of the solution of providing some opportunities to get scored multiple times in some, in some dual competitions. And um, I think we're going to have five or six teams here from the competitive cheer side, five or six on dance. Um, and we're expecting to have an exceptional night tonight. It's just we're, we're, we're excited to, to host an event like this. Well, I look forward to hearing about it, and we'll be following that on OklahomaSports.net, KansasSports.net as well, and be able to uh, give the report and the release from that when it comes out. Uh, Dr. Ramsire, one last thing then. I always want to give people an opportunity to talk about their program. I appreciate what you all are doing with the FCA and, and beyond, but the, it is there's a lot going on on campus and with the Falcons right now. And, and uh, just you know wrap it up by saying, uh, what all is happening and, and how do people get involved? Yeah, well, I, I mean, my, my elevator speech is we think kids can come here and have a high quality athletic experience. We've won four out of the last five commissioner's cups in our conference, which is the all sports trophy. Um, we've had four, last year, 14 of our 18 programs were in high scholar athlete teams. We had another semester last semester where cumulative DPA and the entire athletic department was over 3 So yeah. they're coming here being successful academically. And then we look at holistic development. You talk about the FCA thing um, on my office over here. All this was done before I got here, but we have a Champions of Character medal from each of the last several years. Um, so our kids are getting engaged in the community. Where coaches are teaching core values. FCA is involved. So we just think that we're a place you can have it all. Um, and then just exciting things continue to happen with the Day of Duels. Um, we're getting ready to finish a turf baseball field um, wow. in partnership city if it ever stops snowing um we're hoping to open up on the weekends uh but kansas turf has finished installing a, a field turf field for us um we have a cool partnership with the city to, to develop that track program has been exceptional so it's just it's an exciting time here and um, we're just some people come here out here support us ask, ask for ways to be involved all right dr rob ramsire from friends university thank you sir for being with me on the summit today and i know that turf will look if it's anything like the football field it's going to look great and and uh, be another opportunity for you all to to reach out and, and uh yeah you know do good things for the community the city as well so thank you very much for stopping by with me today dr ramsire i appreciate it and appreciate you being here on the summit hey thank you joey we appreciate all you all you do to publicize us in our conference Thanks very much for watching too, by the way. Please do like and share this video and please subscribe to this channel, Midwest Sports Net. In the meantime, God bless you. Have a great day.